welcome to another video in today's video we'll be doing my top 10 favorite female transformers so let's get started starting off at number 10 we got shadow striker and the reason why i gave her a 10 is for her ranking as my number 10 liked female transformer is because Sh shadow strikers relentless pursuit of victory and fearless add to make her a captivating character her determination to prove herself on the battlefield adds depth to her persona in a world where strength is often measured in conflict shadow strikers unyielding spirit stands as a testament to her character's resilience and drive and also her like personality and cyberverse is why i gave her number 10 because i just liked her character in cyberverse you know Oh, we hurt her and stuff like that. It's just it hurts and I can deal with her. So that is my number 10. Number 9 is Strong Arm from Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015. Now the reason why I put her at number 9 is because Strong Arm's commitment to upholding the law and her journey of personal growth make her a relatable and admirable character. Beyond the battlefield, her sense of justice and dedication renazate with me it's the moments of vulnerability and strength that define strong arms character making her having a compelling presence you know she wasn't a perfect character in our robots in the size 2050 and some people find her annoying personally i do not find her annoying at all as she has she's a flawed character that i absolutely love because of that so that's why i put her in number nine because i can relate to her and that's why she's number nine number eight we have Slipstream! And this is why I chose Slipstream for number 8. Slipstream's assertive and ambitious personality is a standout force within the Decepticon ranks, so that's kind of why I chose her. Her desire for power and strategic thinking showcase a dynamic character unapologetically driven to assert herself. In a world filled with conflict, Slipstream's determination to cover a path stands out as we've seen in animated or in cyberverse but she was redeemed in cyberverse oh spoiler there but loved her in cyberverse and animated with her little time she had so now number seven for favorite female character goes to eraser especially she, i put her at number seven because at first she was a little bit um higher number than number seven but after rise of the beasts it changed so Here's why I chose her for number 7. Airazor's arrow proudness and connection with nature bring a poetic quality to her character. Her duties extend beyond the battlefield, resonating with a sense of duty and responsibility. It's a combination of her combat skills and her affinity to the skies that make Airazor a captivating presence in my ways and how I view her. And this is why I chose her as number 7 because... Her just in Rise of the Beast was really well, even though I didn't like what they did with her towards the end. I'm not gonna spoil it. But in Beast Wars, she also did well, so that's why I like her. And also in Kingdom Wars, I'm sure she had some development there. Now for number six, we have Black Arachnia. And she was in several, we have Beast Wars, Animated, Kingdom. And yeah, so. This is why I chose Black Reacnia for number 6. Black Reacnia's journey from Decepticon to Predacon is a captivating storyline. Not Decepticon, sorry. <laughs> from Maximal to Predacon is a captivating storyline to the add that's to her character. Her intriguing transformation and cunning nature make her memorable. There's a certain complexity to her motives and actions that make Black Reacnia Black Arachnia, a character I follow. So just her, also her completely animated. Like she was a really interesting character because before she was actually Elite One, which is obviously you'll see towards the end. You'll see why she was used to be Elite One. So that's interesting. She's interesting. The same thing as in Beast Wars, she had an interesting storyline. So yeah, she's just a very, that's why I chose her for number six. Going to number five, we have Windblade, and Windblade was our first fan made character. Family Transformer or character. I'm not Transformers family. And this is why I chose her for number five. Windblade's unique connection to both Autobots and Decepticons sets her apart in the Transformers 
franchise, her role as a peacemaker adds a fascinating layer to the story. It's not just her sleek design and formidable abilities, it's also her strong sense of justice and the challenges she faces in navigating the intricate politics of her world that make Wimbley a compelling character. Obviously, talking about the politics was an IDW, her being a peacemaker, both sets an IW, um, and also Cyberverse, so her seeing in Cyberverse was also great, so another awesome Captain Main character, which is why I chose her number five, specifically, and then number four, we have RC, and RC, of course, was definitely one of the first female Transformers introduced in the Transformers franchise, so that is why she's so high up there, but you know, because there's also a lot of features of her, but anyways, let's get to the reason why I said number four. RC's presence on the battlefield is a harmonious blend of agility and courage, yet what captures my attention is the complexity of her character. RC isn't just a tough warrior, she also possesses a compassionate core that adds layer to her story, especially G1 and Cyberverse, and it's this multi-faced nature that makes RC character I find intriguing. Just her compassionate while also being prime is more or less compassionate, but G1 and Cyberverse were there. Oh, I love her Cyberverse. That's what made me. For, but Prime also, Prime RC definitely has also a lot of development, and also, yeah, G1 is also the star. RC, which is great. Now, for number three, we have Gromia! And Chromia, as she also was in IDW, Cyberverse, G1, of course, so there is a reason why I picked her for number three. Chromia's loyalty and combat skills make her a force to be reckoned with among the Autobots. What I appreciate most is her strong sense of justice and unwavering dedication to the cause. It's not just her ability to handle weapons, it's the depth of her commitment to her fellow Autobots that make Chromia a character worth rooting for. So yeah, this is why I picked her for number three. And then, number two, Nautica from the comics, IDW Comics. Nautica, uh, she's definitely one of the most Transformers characters I can relate with for some reason. I just don't know. I just, her personality, I feel like it fits with me. It's just like, eh. But we'll get to number two for the description. So, Nautica brings a breath of fresh air to the Transformers world with her blends of intellect and curiosity. Her love for scientific exploration gives her character a unique and enduring quality. It's not just about being smart, it's the way she navigates both the complexities of science and the relationships around her that make Nautica a standout personality. And This is why I relate to her so much. But now on, let's get to number one, which is my queen, which is... Alita One. Alita One is my top ten. Is my number one favorite female character. You know the other nine are still great, but Alita One is number one for me, and this is why. Alita One is the embodiment of leadership in the Transformers universe. Not she's not just she's not just Optimus Prime's romantic interest. I'll say that she's her own character, okay? And. She's reigning strength and libertarian. I'm drawn to her because she doesn't just lead the Autobots. She does it with the grace that makes her a true inspiration. Whenever she's making tough decisions or facing the heat of battle, Lisa's one's combination of resilience and strength sets her apart. And also, like what I liked how she did with the Netflix and also the new Earthspark cartoon. She just made her so great. I love her and hope to see her in the new Transformers 1 movie, which probably we'll see. We are well, obviously going to see her. But anyways, yeah. And that is it for my top 10 female Transformers. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you later. And thanks for watching.